Oh, hello Ben, welcome hello. to Fright Fest. Welcome back to Fright Fest because you were in 2011. 2011 yeah. with Lovebug. Uh huh. We did um, obviously a different experience this time, a feature film. Feature film, yeah. Fucked up beyond all belief is the. Is that no, right? fucked up beyond all recognition. All recognition, yeah. Fuba. Fuba. Yeah. So where did the title come from? It's an interesting title. Um, I think the first time I ever heard that phrase was Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, you said. Yeah. It's a big thing. I watched that again the other day, and they, yeah, they go on about it a lot. Mm. Um, it wasn't the working title of the film. It was called Game Over for a long time, and then Netflix released a film called Game Over Man oh, okay. a few months ago. And I think we better change this. Yeah. And I way prefer Fubar now. So, I'm used to it. based on personal experience. Uh, not my experience, but a friend of mine went on a zombie survival stag weekend and apparently it was run by a bunch of ex-military uh -huh. and apparently they took it really seriously and they broke his finger, they cut someone else's face, apparently they were just so rough that people were being sick. <laughs> so I kind of ran with that idea and like, yeah. what would happen if... And so you've been working on this for a wee while? About three years. Three years, maybe? yeah. yeah from idea to screen. And you, you managed to um, gather up quite an impressive cast of boys. Yeah, the cast are great. I really, yeah. I mean, they were amazing. How did um, you manage to go about getting those? Because there's some quite recognisable names in there. Yeah, um, we had a great casting director, um, a lady called Stephanie Rodriguez, um, uh -huh. and she was great. Uh, I think, you know, the script, people liked the script. They mm -hmm. wanted to work on it. Um, how long was the shoot? 17 days. Oh, that's quite long, actually. Well, for, <laughs> for, for a, a low-budget film. I suppose that I think for what we were trying to achieve, it was uh -huh. crazy short. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I mean, you do hear about people who make films in two weeks, but I think a lot of the time that's a couple of people in one room, mm. whereas well, we this were... A, this is a little bit more ambitious. Yeah, I mean, we had stunts and action mm. sequences and lots of locations and... What I did discover was filming in the woods, which I thought when I was writing it would be really easy and cheap, is a nightmare. Because uh, I, I was going to ask you, that, uh, making the, the jump from short film to feature film, what did you take from it? And you, you just almost answered that. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I've done quite a lot of shorts and I suppose it was just more of the same. In some ways it was less stressful mm -hmm. because I had a bigger crew and a lot of the shorts I made, I, you know, I was ADing as well. And so actually having great people around me took a lot of the stress out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and also what you realize is as you're missing shots on days one to 12, you think, oh, it's fine, we'll just push it. So it's only really stressful in the last four days when you realize, oh my God, we've got, you know, six days of shooting to do. Yeah, in two. Yeah. <laughs> The style that you you, you decided to shoot it in because it's paid for laughs, uh -huh. and uh, that was obviously a conscious decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a horror comedy, and it's definitely towards the short of the dead end of that spectrum. Yeah, I but, think and that's a, a hard thing to pull off. Um, I guess I, I hope we did. Did but, yeah. um, and do you have a background in comedy? Yeah, I write a lot of comedy stuff. Ah, well, that um, makes sense. So what, the, 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 about yourself, how, how did you come into filmmaking? Um, so I've always loved film, but I never really thought about what I wanted to do in life. So I just yeah. did you know, GCSEs and degree and ended up as an engineer. Um, but I was working in visual effects uh -huh. research. Um, and then a friend of mine just saw an advert for sitcom writers for the BBC. It's nothing, it never happened, but we started writing a sitcom. And as soon as we started, I was like, oh, so that's what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. I never really that's thought really about interesting. And I was kind of hooked at that point and then started making stuff. And once I started making it, I realized I don't really want to just give my scripts away uh -huh. to let other people make them. And, and good news is I believe the film's been picked up for distribution. I believe so. I mean, it's not in this quest. Good, that's good news. Because I was going to say, what do you want for the film? Obviously, you want it to be seen, mm -hmm. go on and be successful. So it's a good start. Yeah, yeah, it's the start we wanted, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I guess yeah, I want everyone to see it. And, 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 and you're looking forward to today's screening? I am. It's the first public screening. We had a cast and crew one, but they were always going to say they loved it. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So there's proofs in the pudding today. Proofs in the pudding, yeah. yeah. Pressure on. Ben, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.